Hi guys, it's Audrey here, and today I have a brand new video for you guys. It is a 6th, 7th, and 8th grade makeup tutorial. This was requested, and I love watching these, so I was like totally excited to do this and back to school is coming around the corner i don't know when everybody is going back to school but i know i'm going in like the middle of august so i want to start early just in case some people are going before me and yeah um i love back to school videos they're my favorite so i'm going to make a bunch for you that are well edited and well filmed and just awesome so i know a lot of my viewers are in between the ages of going into sixth grade maybe going into seventh or eighth grade i don't know but usually most of my viewers are around that age so i decided this would be the perfect video and like i said it was requested and i love watching these so i decided i would make it for you and there will be three different looks for sixth seventh and eighth grade and i'm really excited for you guys to see this video so let's get started this first look is going to be for 6th grade, and the first thing that I'm doing is just taking my eyelash curler and curling my lashes just to make them look more upright instead of just out, and this instantly makes them look longer without putting any makeup on. Then I'm just taking a black mascara, you can use clear or brown if you like, and then I'm just applying a thin layer of that onto my top and bottom lashes. Then I'm putting this chapstick on my lips for moisture and then I'm taking a tinted lip gloss and putting that on my lips for a tiny bit of color and shine. So this is a look, you're wearing a little tiny bit of makeup but it's still noticeable and very natural looking. And now let's go on to the 7th grade look. So for 7th grade, the first thing that I'm doing is taking a dark shadow on an angled brush and I'm just lining my upper lash line because I feel like a lot of girls like to experiment with eyeliner but I think eyeliner is a little too much at this age so I'm just using dark shadow instead of that so now I'm just taking this white shimmer color and I'm popping it into my inner corner just to highlight a bit and make my eyes look brighter now I'm just curling my lashes again to make them look more upright instead of straight out and I'm applying a little bit more mascara just to make them look longer and darker and more bold. Now I'm taking this baby lips and you can use whatever color you like. I'm just using this one because it looks best on my skin tone and I'm just applying that to my lips to add some color. So this is a look for 7th grade. It's kind of similar to the 6th grade, but with a little bit more to it. And now on to the last look, the 8th grade look. To start off, I'm sliding this gold cream shadow all over the lid for a little pop. And then I'm putting a white, the same white shadow in my inner corner as I did in 7th grade look to highlight and then I'm lining my lash, upper lash line with this same dark shadow just to make my eyelashes look thicker and my lash line look thicker. After curling my lashes, I just applied the same mascara as I did in the other looks and I'm just putting it to the top and bottom lashes. Now I'm taking this clear brow gel to shape my eyebrows and keep them in place all day long. Now I'm taking the same baby lips and applying it all over my lips. This is what it looks like. It's very gold and beautiful and elegant and I really think it's suitable for 8th grade and I hope you guys liked all these looks. So that was the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and also um, the looks that I did is something that I thought was suitable to wear in middle school. If you guys don't think that, then don't do it. You can put less on, you can put more on if you think it's right. This is just what I think and it was requested so I wanted to do it. And also I did not put any type of facial products on my face like concealer, BB cream, foundation powder because I thought that why even put that on because everybody has different skin some people have acne some people don't some people have oily skin some people have dry skin some people have combination everything like that so um i just think that you can put on however much you want to make you feel 
confident. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what types of back to school videos you'd like to see from me. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!